Welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. Uh, today, or this morning, we went to our new caravan storage site to collect our keys and go through security protocols, what have you. Um, as tomorrow, we are picking up our new caravan. Can't wait. Um, we thought, um, I'm not sure if you've watched the previous um, video, you'll know that our caravan was stolen last year, um, towards the end of 2018. Um, we've got a new one and obviously we had to find a new site because we wouldn't return the new caravan to the old site and um, we wanted to um, share with you our experiences of choosing and finding a site and give you some tips on helping you to find a site. So we had our caravan stolen, uh, for those who are not aware, we had a caravan stolen in October last year. Um, we. Um, managed to get paid out from the insurance company and as Michelle just said we bought a new caravan uh, one of the stipulations uh, with the insurance company which is actually the same insurance company that we had before uh, is that it cannot go back and it they will not insure it in that same site um, so the site that it was in um, was a cassowa yeah cassowa or cassowa I'm not quite Kasawa, sure how you pronounce um, it gold Approved site. Um, it's advertised with 24 hour video surveillance on site, um, warden, 24 hour access. Um, the videos weren't working at the time of the theft. Uh, there was apparently there was a theft uh, about five months earlier uh, last year where some caravans were broken into, TV stolen, the gas bottle stolen. Um, and apparently the video cameras weren't working then. Um, so one of the things we wanted to talk to you about was what to look for. Uh, if you are looking, starting out looking for somewhere to store your caravan, um, and learn from my experience, we've done a lot of research uh, over the past few months. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we're based in the Bedfordshire area and you can expect to spend anywhere between 400 and nearly 800 pounds a year for storing your caravan and you don't just want somewhere to store it you really want to make sure that it's uh, it's safe and secure and being looked after yeah that's in this um, part of the country I, I do think in other parts of the country you can um, get cheaper sites um, the one that we've chosen it's how much? Seven hundred and fifty pounds a year. It's it's just over seven hundred pounds a year. Yeah. Um, there was another site that we really liked, um, but that it was a council site. It was a council-run site, but there was a three-year waiting list uh, for that site. So we're we're on the waiting list with them, and um, yeah, if, the, if and when it comes up, then we'll we'll go and have a look at it. Yeah. I mean, one the one we've we've gone with, uh, we when we went to view it, uh, you know, it was all pre-arranged. We went to view it. It's electronic uh, front gate, uh, with, which is accessed by a key fob. Um, There's actually three gates that you have to pass through in order to get to the actual lot where the caravans are stored. Yeah. First one yeah. being an electric gate, second one an electric gate, and the third one a uh, combination lock. lock. Yeah. So it's, it's also, secure. once you drive in, it's number plate recognition as well. Um, as soon as you drive in, the gate will automatically close behind you. Uh, there are security cameras, uh, I think it's about four on the actual gate. Um, when we saw the site uh, a couple of weeks ago, we uh, asked to see whether the video cameras you know, are recording uh, and we went into his office which is on site and there are what, 12 screens there. Mm. 12 screens uh, and you can clearly see them recording. He has an app on his phone um, so anytime the site is accessed by the key fob, uh, he gets a notification. Yeah, any shows vehicle him. that enters, he will be notified. Yeah, if a vehicle doesn't leave there within a spe specific time, um, you know he may just contact the owner um, of the caravan, just say, "Look, is everything okay?" Um, you know, maybe an hour or an hour and a half or two hours, whatever. And um, they also have other stipulations as well. When you are leaving to take the caravan out. Uh, to go on your jollies, then uh, he want you know just ask that you just give him a text so he's aware of uh, that you're leaving the site, and also when you return, just let him know you've come back. The other site that we had, the the caravan was stolen. Um, although there were video cameras there, um, when we asked about you know where the where is the footage etc., 
obviously it's not working at that particular time. So what we would say is, is if you are setting out looking for a site, you want to find it as obviously as local as possible to you, but don't just go for one that's literally on your doorstep if you're not 100% comfortable with it. You know, you've, you, you are leaving, I don't know, a caravan of maybe 18, 20,000, even more. Uh, no, and, and it's not just somewhere to store it. You really want to make sure that it is secure. Um, so just do your homework. We did a lot of research, as we said earlier on. Um, do site reviews as well. Site reviews, um, things with Google, anyone can put up a website and they can put whatever they want, whatever literature on it, they can put whatever photos they want on it. So you really need to get out there and look for it, look at it yourself. Um, go and visit the site, maybe visit it a few times, different days of the week or different times of the day. Basically look at what they're offering you. Um, if, if the site is in the middle of the countryside, on a farm somewhere, you need to check your access roads. Make sure there's enough room for when you're towing to get your, you know, your car and the caravan, you know, to the site. Um, quite often they'll they just be narrow country lanes. Um, so check that there's passing places, plenty of room for you to get through. Yeah. We well, also um, things like perimeter fencing. Um, make sure it's not just chicken wire fencing that can be pushed over or climbed over. Um, as I keep saying, you know, you really want to make sure that you are com you know, completely happy with where you're leaving it. Because at the end of the day, the, certainly from what we've had by our experience, the site owners, it's like, it's been stolen, it's been stolen. And, and yes, they take your money and it's a lot of money, a lot of money they get, you know, that they take from you. And you really want to get something back. So just make sure that you do have you know, the, the videos that are working, the secure perimeter, the perimeter, perimeter fencing. Um, Another oh, thing you want to know is, is there an on-site warden 24 hours yeah. a day? Um, are they there all the time? Um, yeah. I mean, if they wander around, you know, are they... Security dogs? Yeah, um, I mean, if the wardens are wandering fighting. around, you know, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, if the caravan is, if there's something going on that they tell you about it. If you've got a caravan, if you're fortunate enough to have a caravan with, say, an alarm, if the alarm goes off, um, if you've got the later versions, they probably, the alarm company will probably ring you, text you. Uh, but you want to make sure that if the alarm is going off, you know, you can at least call the, the, the warden or the owner and ask them just to check if everything's okay because the site may be half an hour, 40 minutes away from you. Uh, and if it's just the wind that set it off, uh, you don't really want to have to go all the way up there just to, mm. to, to reset the alarm. Yeah. Uh, the other thing as well is, um, just check with your insurance company if you have got one. Just give them the details. Say, look, you're looking at moving your caravan or you're thinking about uh, leaving your caravan in this site or this storage, whatever. Um, and just make sure that they're happy with you. Um, as we just said earlier on, you know, our insurance company would not insure us for uh, the old site. It was just categorically, no, uh, it, you know, we're not going to cover you if you put it there. So just check with your insurance company. And if you are thinking about moving a caravan from one site to another, before you do do that, again, just give the insurance company a call and just say, you know, we are looking at moving the caravan to this site. All they'll want is the name and the postcode of the new site and they'll check it. And Casoa, it doesn't matter. The site we're in uh, now is not actually a Casoa site. And remarkably, our insurance is actually cheaper than the previous uh, one that was a Kosoa site. Mm. I'll get back to Kosoa in a minute because I'm really yes. not impressed with them. Um, another thing to ask um, the site that you're going to is hours of access. Some sites um, allow you access 24 hours, some have restrictions, say from daylight to sunset, some may be strict times as in seven o'clock until in the morning till seven o'clock at night. Um, so make sure you're aware of the access times because if you were planning to go somewhere, say yeah. for example you want to go to France and you needed to get an early ferry, you would have to obviously get access to your caravan much earlier yeah. in the morning. Yeah, that's right. I mean the site we're on uh, now is, um, it's an hour, you can access the site an hour, be, uh, when it's, is it an hour before sun's? Uh, it's, it's during daylight hours yeah. um, and, and an, an hour, hour before, before sunset, sunset to return. So yeah. it's worth, it's worth knowing. Now um, just going back to Kosoa. I'm, as again, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It stands for the Caravan Storage Site Owners Association. And they award um, 
sites that provide certain levels of security, for instance, a perimeter fence, CCTV, um, what else is there? On-site warden. On-site warden, things like that. Um, now, the site that we had our caravan stolen from, was had a, it, had an, it had a gold award. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't understand how the conditions of the site, the fact that there was no CCT available, how that site could be awarded um, gold status is... Yeah. It, yeah. I, I, just, I just don't get it. So, Kasawa, if you are watching this and you would like to discuss it with us, please get in contact. Either leave a, leave a comment in the bottom or contact us by email, which will put the address at the end of this video. And we would love to discuss well, you, this You do you. find that when you do park uh, your caravan in, in, in the storage, you, you do tend to meet other people. Uh, and it's a great place just to chat. When uh, in, in our other site, uh, you know, we got to know a couple of people, not not friends, but just you know how are you doing and have a chat for ten minutes or whatever. Um, and when our caravan was stolen, um, I spoke to one of them, and um, they just sort of they, they just said to us, you know, it's not the first time it's happened and blah blah blah. So it, it's always a good to have. They, a chat. they have actually moved. They have moved. They've moved yeah. out that and, plus another three, wasn't it? And complaints were made to Kasoa. Um, mm. As of today, the site is still gold yeah. status. Uh, one of the people with, um, did complain to Kasoa and said, "Look, are you aware that a caravan was stolen? Uh, it was last week uh, when they reported it, and uh, you know there was also a um, another break in." earlier on in the year and um, they just said okay we're, we're going to do a um, an on-site uh, a check on the company you know on, on the site uh, unannounced I don't know if that's happened I know that as of today um, the site is still being promoted on uh, with his, you know, on Google. What, what's frustrating though is that insurance companies will in, in a lot of insurance companies will give you a discount um, if you are yeah. if you're storing your caravan on a Kasawa site, so it gives you confidence in the site that that you've chosen. Yeah. So all we can say is do your research, spend the time because you are spent. You know you are you're putting a lot of money in their hands basically, and just do your research reviews. As you, I'm sure you're aware, you're always going to get the odd person who's not happy and they're going to say, well, this wasn't right and that wasn't right and the wind wasn't blowing in the right direction. We know that. So you've got to be able to read through that. But if there's enough uh, enough mud that they say sticks, so just do your research, check for reviews, do as much, um, go up there as many times as you want, speak to the owner if he's like, oh, I can't be bothered. And you've got to think, well, if there's a problem... Um, you know, am I going to be able to get this sorted or is he not going to be available? Um, so yeah, yeah, that's really, I think we've got to cover on this I one. I think we've covered everything that we wanted to share yeah. with you. So, tomorrow, yeah. we're going to get our new car. Yeah. <laughs> so, the next time you see us, we will have our new Maddie. We will, we will. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a tour. We're hoping the weather will be nice. Today it's freezing cold. Um, but it's a beautiful sunny day and we're just hoping that the weather stays good for tomorrow because we don't want it snowing. No, mm -hmm. no. So any comments you've got, please feel free to drop them below in the uh, comments box. Please subscribe to or us. Or anyone if you else, if you've, anybody else has got any tips, put them in the box below. Yeah, for for, for any questions, else. drop them down in the comment box and uh, we'll do our best to answer them the next time around. Thank you very, very much indeed for Thank watching. Thank you so much and we'll, we'll see, see you, you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.